I'm here with Jane Rose from the Columbia University Family Studies of Epilepsy, and we're here at the National Walk for Epilepsy in Washington, D.C. in March of 2010. Janine, thanks for joining us today. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having us. And can you tell me a little bit about the research study that you're working on and what you hope to achieve with it? Yes, um, we are a um, genetic research program at Columbia University, and what we're looking to discover are the genes that affect uh, certain types of epilepsy, childhood onset epilepsy, and specifically idiopathic generalized epilepsy. And idiopathic generalized epilepsy is a type of epilepsy that doesn't have an origin, a set of origin. So we are looking to uh, recruit uh, subjects who have this particular kind of epilepsy and um, by uh, DNA saliva. We look at what the students do and further identify them and of course, much further down the road, providing a cure of form therapy other than the medications. And why did you decide to collect DNA from a lot of for many reasons. Um, before, and that was before my time, um, they would collect blood, which is, as we know, invasive, and uh, it's less likely to find uh, subjects willing to go through that donation. Um, it is very difficult to store, it needs to be refrigerated, um, it is more uh, pain. Uh, there, there were many reasons. Messy, uh, I think that the saliva kits be small and portable and light is an extremely practical and super easy way to collect and people are delighted to <laughs> and enchanted to look at how they're made and it, it, it makes a wonderful conversation piece. It breaks the ice <laughs> every time. So we're, we're very happy with the product. We use it very willing. Now that brings me to our work here this week at the National Watch for Epilepsy. When you heard about the study, the Wallace is on the two major research participants in your study. What did you think about and why did you get involved in this project? Well, um, I was involved for the first time last year in conjunction with the Columbia University Family Study. Year previous, I came as a participant, and I noticed at that event how many sponsors we had. Right, and I thought, well, why not us? If we won't be a direct sponsor, I would like in some way for us to be involved because I saw um, a real uh, number of people who would definitely embrace this project and uh, be willing to either participate or contribute in some way to what we're doing. And finding people is what it's all about. At the moment, we rely on mostly physician referral to find our subjects. So I thought, why not come directly to the people and show them what we're doing at Columbia, and even if they don't really qualify to join the study, they could at least be if they don't have uh, FRC at all, they could be an unaffected control, which is what we are hoping to collect today. And um, if they do, uh, if they meet our criteria, then they can. And even if we don't, further down the road again, um, it's our goal to do different types of procedures as we go along, providing the correct funding to do so, and in different directions. And how does DNA do the technology of this project? Well, I have to say that we wouldn't be here today if we weren't for DNA to detect her. Very, very grateful for the help that uh, you provided us. Uh, the first of all, getting the booth, getting the space, uh, helping us organize the event. Uh, it's been a real uh, sharing experience, uh, both with your knowledge and with us, and uh, with our material. To I think it's a very good fit to have people see exactly what happens, exactly how we get the DNA and have a person on hand here on the spot to answer any questions you may have about the topic. So we are very, very pleased. And tell me a little bit about what the future holds for this study. When do you expect to have some results? When will people know the outcome of the study? Well, it's very difficult for the time to be on such a uh, study because um, we, we, it is an ongoing study in that every time we find something, we look in a different direction. Of course, funding, allow, funding uh, allows us to go in 
so far. So as, as it comes along, we hope to increase uh, our investigation of what is, how it happens, and what can be done. So, um, of course, we're looking to point very specifically at what can be done at the appropriate time. So for the moment, we're still in the investigation stage. But we've come up with some true uh, confirmation of our genetic information that's on uh, this so We feel that it's a very good study, um, both that uh, you know, the, uh, the reasons of our specificity, uh, we uh, are very, uh, uh, very strict about our criteria, our inclusion criteria, and uh, so we do not have that. Uh, this allows us to really know what we're looking at and don't know like how to do that in some other ways anyway. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today. Best of luck here at the National Walk for Epilepsy and best of luck for the study. Thank you. Thank you for having us.